I met him while I was on the table. You know, I, they put you on the table, put you in the stirrups, and he walks in. Mm-hmm. So f- first, it's a kind of an awkward introduction. Second, maybe he didn't mean it, but I don't think he had any uh, inclination to be uh, warm or kind or talk. It was a real quick examination. Uh, I was still in the, on the table. I was pregnant. He said, any questions? His hand was on the doorknob. And I, of course, said, no, I had a million questions. And I can't tell you how tall he was. I was laying down, but he always struck me as short, cold, and with glasses, and he may not look like that at all. I like. Very nice indeed. I like the spirit when you take charge yourself. Yes. You won't have anyone messing about. That's how it should be. But you couldn't do it better. Um, have you seen what is the head like? Well, it's covered hair. Yes, but what color? Black. Dark hair. Yeah, that looks Does it? You see, it'll come out now showing and then go back. Yes. Popping in and out like that until it gets far enough down to stay out. Yes. Then that's what we call the crowning. Yes. About 20 minutes after that, you probably have your baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you know, it seems extraordinary that frail women are powerful enough to do all this pushing. I often think that. There's no other The doctor's office is full of blonde Victorian women patting their stomachs, smiling, Mona Lisa-esque, knowing. They welcome 18-year-old me to their coterie of framed ladies-in-waiting, waiting for the pop, the baby, and meanwhile, they sell pharmaceuticals. They pose in their nicely framed images, hung ever so carefully around the waiting room of Dr. L. I am waiting, too, for sex, and much, much later, the pop. But now it's sex, with a someone I don't know as of yet. It's an abstract meeting, but I want to be prepared. I'm here for one thing, Dr. L., the armor. It's too bad, though. I don't say sex. I say college. Give me a diaphragm, Dr. L., so I can go to college. Yes, he'll give me this shield. The only problem is he doesn't tell me how to use it. I leave his office fully equipped, protected, and completely incapable of placing that plastic, or is it rubber? I'm not sure. Plastic sheath over my cervix. Where is my cervix? But, uh, 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 
don't know if you want to talk about this. So if you don't want to talk about this, but it's it's it, it interests me, but it's not. I mean, it's it, it's not something you have to. But it, it. Do you think that at the time? I mean, that a lot of for many women that dealing with that, whether it's abuse or exploitation or whatever from. So strong. Lifting belly together. Lifting belly, oh yes. Lifting belly. Oh yes. Remember, Remember what I say. Do you all oh, that's a, I'll give it to you. like a mother's line. Okay, let's let's start okay, all over okay, and we'll okay. get it this time. It's serious. It'll give me a feeling of completion. <coughs> Lifting belly is so strong. I want to tell her something. Wax candles. We have brought a great many wax candles. Some are decorated. They have not been lighted. I do not mention roses. Exactly. Actually. Questioning butter. I find the butter very good. Lifting belly is so kind. Lifting belly fattily. Doesn't that astonish you? You did want me. Say it again. Strawberry. Lifting kindly belly. Sing to me, I say. Some are wives, not heroes. Lifting belly merely. Sing to me, I say. Lifting belly. A reflection. Lifting belly adjoins more prizes. Fit to be. I have fit on a hat. Have you? What did you say to excuse me? Difficult paper and scattered. Lifting belly is so kind. Let us take the next example, that of a born thief. Louis C. Magnan writes of her aged nine, was the daughter of a mad father, always in contention of sexual ex excitement. She was of weak int intelligence. Her instinct had always been bad. Her conduct tr troubled, and her mind in incapable of control. At three, she was a thief and laid her laid hands on her mother's money. At five, she was inch artist interested and convened to the police office police office she sh shrieked tore off her socks these girls are both aged 10 
threw her dolls into now 11, the gutter, lifting 12, her shirts in 13, the street. But 14, on looking at her 15, photograph, at 16, one, one is physically mature. That the other still has years to grow. Through, only nine years old, she offers the accept type of the born criminal. Her jaws and creek bones, cheekbones are incense for the front tail sin strong the nose flat. She looks like a grown woman, nay, a man. But I always thought black widow spiders spit because I really loved black widows and I would always go out and stand by them and I ran to get my father to show him this black widow. And he said that I, I couldn't go near it and I said I wouldn't ever touch it, you know, I was just going to watch it. And he said, no, because it'll spit at you. And I believe that I'm questioning with, till, for years until I was... And I told everyone, oh, yeah, Black Widows. I don't think Black Widows spit. It doesn't even sound logical. I don't think they even have, like, any apparatus to spit. Most noticeably under the arms and in the pubic region. Menstrual or monthly periods usually happen about every four weeks. However, they're likely to be quite irregular for the first two or three years while a girl is still maturing. And later, a cycle of perhaps five weeks or of three weeks is perfectly normal. It takes time to get used to the changes of adolescence, which at first may seem so strange. However, for many girls, menstruation brings no problem and little discomfort, only the extra care needed for cleanliness.
Well, as a young child, I always had a lot of coughing and kind of stuff, and my mother would never allow me to spit what came out, up out of my chest because she said that girls don't spit. You swallow it. You know, you don't do that because it's vulgar. Science began when man began to observe and to make note of his observation. <laughs> Prostitutes have longer hands and larger calves, but their feet are smaller. While criminals have the darker hair and eyes, it is the prostitutes whom fair and red hair now surpass the normal. Female thieves above all prostitutes are inferior to moral women in cranial capacity and circumference. My dad was always disappointed because my mother never gave him a son. We rode his butt when we found out men, you know, are the ones that, that give a child gender because he had really harassed my mom for years that he didn't have a son. So we had to tell him it was his fault, you know, because he really, really wanted a boy. I was the closest thing he had to a son for years. Is to support the framework or to give a framework to the body and to give it contour. There's no difficulty in looking at a subject such as this to see that it's symmetrical. Prostitutes have longer hair and larger breasts, but their thighs are smaller. But I have dark hair and dark eyes, and I like my hair red. No way. They're rough. They're tough. They're hard to buff. Like I can remember uh, when I learned about martyrs, I was be Joan of Arc, or I was going to be different saints, and then maybe I was going to be Virgin Mary. Then I remember. Uh, I, when I read about Nancy Drew, then I was going to be her. So I had more recollection of more from the inside out. Usually from the outside in, I would practice putting on makeup like my mother, but I always would cover my whole face with lipstick. No one has yet come up with a complete and precise interpretation of each type of cry. There are cataloged some 20 different non-normal cries and 15 to 20 different normal need cries. In a moment, you will hear four different normal need cries. The cries illustrated are hunger, pain, fatigue, and fretfulness.
my first introduction to the bridle, the bra. I was a horse irritated by such constraints. My bosoms were a keen, smooth extension of my growing, extending torso, all one piece. The cusp between my breast and my rib was a hiding place for my lanky, unwieldy arm. I was a triangle, feeling a wholeness somewhere between my elbows and the nape of my neck, until the bridle came and created divisions, areas of artificial mystique, a separation of space between the functional arm and the sexual breast, territory. When we have like women, uh, women, uh, there are, I assume they are purchased for this purpose, but they're like chubby, very fleshy women swinging on swings or lounging around, uh, always um, kind of grotesque looking in there and um, just to be taken, just right there for the taking. And I assume that's why they were purchased, even though we pretend that they were just purchased for art. But, um, or there's an, another, the Venuses. There was a period of time where they were shaving all the pubic hair from the uh, Venuses. And there was something I, I think about power and removing that hair, and also uh, a few perversions, I think, in the male culture that um, made that so popular. I think they become. Uh, less powerful images for the male, and I think a lot of times the the more the the visual images can be disarmed, the better the male artist feels.
Undressed, we read our bodies like a history, scars, muscles, curves of the spine. We look at ourselves from within, collect our own data, create our own science, begin to define. Built from the inside out, this new laboratory pushes against the walls of the old structure, an incendiary effect, yes, but not arson. Open your mouth and I'm going to put this down your throat. Okay. Okay, now we got to put it in the chemical. You have strep. I do. Mom, I have strep. What's strep? It means that you have a very sore throat. I do. Oh, thank you. What do I have to do for it? Well, just take the aspirin and and wait a few weeks. Okay. Bye. Bye.